Hello and welcome to a new video of Penpot. It's time to show you how Flex Layout works in Penpot. As you know, Flex Layout is one of the most versatile functionalities when designing. The great potential it offers, added to the facilities it provides, makes Flex Layout one of the most commented and demanded features by the community. Penpot's proposal tried to get as close as possible to the final output that we'll see on the web. So design and development speak the same language in order to embrace web standards and improve communication between roles. In this video, we are going to cover everything you need to know about Flex Layout so that you can use it in your designs, improving your workflow. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's start from the basis. I'm going to create a button. I'm going to explain two different ways to do that. The first one is you already have a board with a background of your choice and then you put inside the text of your button and here in the right sidebar you have the layout option so turn it on. We are going to explain it uh, later, all the options. We are going through all this panel but uh, for now the only thing you, you have to, to know is that if you click here to position all the elements quick and easy i'm going to add some radius okay and uh, here is the behavior of the container so i'm going to click fit content i'm going to add some padding vertical and horizontal okay and now as the container is fitting the content if i start Writing the content adapts and grows. Oh, the other common way to do that is if you have already the text here, you can click in, or use the shortcut Shift A and a board with layout already being used will be created around surrounding the, the text. So here you can add a fill with a new color, add Again, the padding you need and the border radius if you need to. And here, of course, the new board is using fitting content by default. So if you delete the words here, the container adapts. This is really cool because if you want to add, for example, an icon to the button, like for example this play icon that I already have, you only have to drag and drop it inside the board and set the gap between the elements. So yeah, here we have it. I'm going to create a list of podcast episodes here. So I'm going to create the, the first item of the list. Here we have the, the image of the podcast and the info, okay? The info is already aboard we're using Flex, uh, direction column. We will explain all this panel later. So I'm going to add here a few gap between elements. It is okay. And now I'm going to create this info with the, the image. I'm going to create another board for that, another flex layout, okay? I, I press Shift A and here we have all the, the elements, I can switch between the, the elements as you can see quick and easy using the arrows or drag and drop it, okay? So I'm going to select the board and add new gap, okay? So here is the item element, let's name it properly. And now I'm going to create a new flex layout for all the list, okay? using a direction column. So I'm going to add layout here. I'm going to fit the content using a column vertical lay a layout. I'm going to add some padding here. And now if I duplicate this element, okay, click on the, on the fit content using more gap, as you can see, the content grows, okay? I already have my list, I can add 
more space between because maybe it's too poor. Okay, so, yep. It's time to go in deep with all the flex layout settings in order to uh, understand all the stuff that flex layout offers. First thing first, you need to create a board with the flex properties. You can do that by selecting the elements and click here in add layout, okay, in the right sidebar. You can do that by right clicking on the element and choose the add flex layout option or you can use the shortcut shift A. And as you can see here you have the board. This icon means that you are using a row flex layout, okay? See here. So let's talk about the direction. You can choose between the rows and columns, okay? Changes in direction. You can select column and column reverse. If I click and drag the container, you can see that the sizing is in fit. So these pixels, this sizing is the one that we are going to have in the board and the elements inside are going to position relative to this container. So now they are aligned top or a start, which is the CSS convention and justify left, okay? So if I click align center and center, justify, I'm going to center all the elements. If the board changes its size, all the elements still in the center, okay? And the same with bottom or flex end and justify content. The justify have another three options which are really useful. Here we have space between. This means that if you select this option, all the space will be occupied by the elements and the space between will be the same always even if the container changes its size. Here we have the other option, which is the space around, which means that each item has like a margin outside and this margin will increase or decrease in order to its container too. And the, the last option is space only, which means that the space between the elements and from the last element or the first element of a row of our, of, or a column uh, from the borders will be the same. These are the options for the content. Here we have the gap, okay? If we click on the position center, okay? All the elements will be uh, side by side. But if I click here and select a gap, for example, 20, all the elements will be 20 uh, pixels from each other. This row gap is the same from, for, well, because imagine that the, each element is a column, okay? You remember the, the direction. So here, if I change the, the positioning, the element will be at 20 pixels, okay? More things. Here we have the padding, okay? So if the container is fitting the content, so there is no space between the borders and the elements, you can set the padding here. So the padding is the distance between the element and the border of the container. So I'm going to set 20 again, and now it is well uh, positioning because I have 20 top, 20 bottom, sides 22, and the distance between the elements are 20 again. So it is very, very easy to set from here. And as you can see, the, the container is fitting the content. So if I duplicate the, an element, uh, the container will grow with its content, okay? More stuff. If I have here a position fixed container, you can see that the elements flip outside, okay? Are overlaying the container. So we don't want that. We want that the elements will be inside our container, okay? So for that, we have here the wrap option, which means that if you select that, the elements will position inside the, the container. And the, if the container changes side, the elements inside will adapt. 
okay, and fill the, all the available space. Here we have more controls, more settings to that. The align content options refers to the positioning of the elements only if they are wrapping. So uh, by default it's no wrap, but if you select wrap because you need to, you can position all the elements. You have control of all that. There are similar options like justify content. Align content and justify content. Similar conditions. And then you can align and use this perfect design. Okay, so let's explain now the align items and, and margin settings, okay? Properties. Here I have set it a left uh, margin of 40 pixels, which is this space right here. Let me put 60 in order to see it better. Okay, it's cool. So if I uh, drag and drop this element in this list, the margin will be part of this element. Let's take a look of, of this space, okay? So you can use individual spacing for each element inside a flex uh, layout. So imagine that this kitty is really big and now we have this row of kitties, but as you can see, the black one is in the bottom. Why? Because align self property bottom is is available okay if i click on the top i can position on the top or on the center so this property the align self is relative to all the tiles inside a flex board okay so one last thing about settings is that if i click on an element inside a flex layout board i have here the sizing option i can click on you know occupied all the space available so i'm going to check height 100 percent what happened here is that the board is fitting the content i'm going to click on fix it okay so now this cut grows with the with the container because i'm using this this property okay so what happened if I want to set a minimum and a maximum eight. Okay, here I can select. Right now, the the size of this cut is uh, 307, 340. Okay, so I'm going to set that the max height will be 400. Okay, so if the board continue growing it will uh, continue growing until it find this limit of 400 pixels of maximum height. Okay, so let's continue with complex stuff. Uh, here we have our beloved podcast app design, which will be available really soon in the libraries and template page in the, in the Penpot app webpage, okay? Yeah, click on easy to, to download. Um, but now we are going to apply the flex layout to a screen in order to show you the power of, of this feature. Okay, so here I have the player screen, which already has the, the flex layout uh, applied direction column. It seems like a mesh, but it's really easy to fit all the stuff, okay? So I'm going to position uh, center, center, okay? Probably it's better on, on top. And I'm going to uh, use, we can use space between, which as you can see, all the elements adapt in order to fit the screen, okay? Which is better. And it's really like, in no, in, only two clicks we are really close to the design that we already made okay so i'm going to here add a bit of gap between elements and here i'm going to use the sizing with 100 percent here same thing because they are using space between so they are going to fill all the space available and here in the same Way. okay so 
um, center the icons. Mm, space between. So here I'm going to move with the arrows the position of the icons. Really, really cool. And now I'm going to add a padding here. Okay. Let me use 100% here in the header too. So if I use 20 pixels, as you can see, all the design now is using the correct spacing, okay? So if the content grows, we change all the, all the design adapts. And even if I click duplicate stuff, yeah, the, the container will respond uh, be respectful with the content. And one of the most important parts of all of this is that if you click on a board and go into inspect, all the code you get is one to one with the specifications of the internet. We are using internet standards. So all the flex layout, positioning, gap, spacing is the same. So you just have to copy and paste on your code editor. You click and select the elements. You will have all the stuff available. This and um, more stuff can be done with the new flex layout feature. Flex layout allows you to automatically resize, fit, and fill your designs. It's very useful. You can reorder elements inside a group with flex layout just by swapping their places and set the right gap, alignment, and distribution. By using Penpot Flex Layout, you are using web standards that make it easy to translate to code. Designing using web standards will help you understand how it works and how it will be code. With this approach, it also ensures you that your designs can be developed in some way. So I hope you can find this useful and see you in the next video.